Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Yasudian, a consultant dermatologist based in the UK. Today we will look at Gel Nail Polish, a relatively new nail cosmetic. It's become popular very quickly as it is low in cost, persistent and is easily applied. However, both home and professional applications of gel nail polish may have potential side effects. These include traumatic nail disorders, allergic contact sensitivity and ultraviolet light induced lesions. Gel nail polish is composed mainly of urethrin, methacrylates, catalysts and colouring agents. Three layers must be applied for each application. There's a base coat, then a nail polish and then a top coat. To harden and to dry each layer, the nail must be exposed to light under a fluorescent bulb emitting ultraviolet light for 2 minutes or an LED light for just 30 seconds. Nail salons frequently use UV lamps because LED lamps are much more expensive. The applied gel nail paint looks glamorous and beautiful, but let's look at the potential adverse effects that they can cause. Mechanical nail damage can occur due to sharp trimmers and metal spatulas used to push the cuticle. This creates spaces above and below the nail plate, leading to inflammation of the nail folds. Damage to the nail folds and cuticle also produces paronychia or inflammation around the nail. Traumatic separation of the nail plate from the nail bed can occur as seen in these images. It's otherwise called onycholysis. Repeated removal of the gel nail paint makes the nail more prone to fragility and become thin. Gel nail paints can also cause allergic contact eczema. For beauticians, methacrylates are the most common allergens found in artificial nails, followed by fragrances. The risk of sensitization to methacrylates is higher for beauticians and users of home kits rather than consumers who attend salons for professional nail polishing. Hand dermatitis with fissured painful fingertips is the most common clinical presentation. However, we can also observe rashes on the face, particularly around the eyelids, the cheeks, the lips and the neck. This is because we touch our face with our hands all the time throughout the day. It could also be spread through the air. Inflammation around the nail folds can also occur with eczema resistant and persistent in that area. Next is the risk of lamps used in gel nail polish. The safety of ultraviolet light in nail lamps remains controversial. Ultraviolet lamps emit four times more energy than the sun, increasing the risk of skin aging and skin cancer. Finally, let's look at how we can prevent problems whilst using gel nail polish. Firstly, before clipping the nails, soften them by soaking them in water. The cutting instrument should be held perpendicular to the nail plate. Avoid manipulating the cuticles. To avoid contact allergy, beauticians who apply gel nail should be informed of the risks of sensitization to acrylates. Users should choose safe nail products and licensed nail technicians. Never touch the polish, especially when it is still soft. Avoid contact with any products that have been contaminated by acrylates. Latex, vinyl and nitrile gloves are rapidly permeated by acrylates and therefore they are inefficient as a sole protective measure. I usually ask my patients to wear cotton gloves under the latex or nitrile gloves, but even this is not completely effective. Ideally, ethylene or polyethylene gloves offer the most effective prevention. However, these gloves are bulky and they're not that easy to use. To prevent light-induced adverse effects, limit the frequency and duration of the nail salon ultraviolet light exposure. Salon operators who use LED lights are preferable because they are shorter in duration. Before getting a gel manicure, apply a broad spectrum water resistant sunscreen, preferably a tinted sunscreen, to your hands to prevent skin cancer and premature skin aging. The ideal way of preventing problems to gel nail polish is through education. If you experience recurring nail problems, consider traditional nail polish instead of gel nail polish. To care for your nails in between gel manicures, try and take a nail polish holiday. Try not to wear nail polish for a couple of weeks or even longer. This will allow your nails time to repair. Always hydrate your nails. Between polishes, apply a moisturizing product such as petrolatum jelly to your nails and cuticles several times a day. This will minimize brittleness and help prevent your nail from chipping. I hope you found this information helpful. Thank you for listening and bye.